So you wanted to build an actual WooCommerce uh, store using dropshipping elements. So I'm going to show you how to do this in a very easy way. So, hello everybody, I'm going to guide you through the steps of the dropshipping store using WooCommerce and WordPress website. It's going to be really important that first of all you need to install WooCommerce and if you don't have a hosting for WooCommerce, we can totally suggest you to get started with Hostinger. Now Hostinger is actually really simple, affordable and comes with a 3 months free with the link that I'm going to leave you down below in the description. So once you claimed that deal, you might be having your actual very first section of the WordPress. Now how can we get started to having an actual store? inside WordPress. So the very first thing you want to do is to install the WooCommerce. So first you need to have the WordPress website up and running. So log into your WordPress dashboard and here let's go directly into the left part says plugins. Inside plugins I'm going to click here and go for add new plugin. Inside add new plugin just type the word Woo with double O and you might be seeing that we usually have the actual WooCommerce. Now you need to have an actual active plan directly into WooCommerce, into WordPress in order to continue. That's the reason why we actually suggest you to get started with hosting. It's going to be much more faster to track all the conversions and other elements. So now that we are now here into active, we are now here into the left part, there's the WooCommerce. Now the section here into WooCommerce is going to be helping you to get started by choosing a suitable theme. So for a dropshipping store, it's important to choose an actual theme, guys. It's clean, navigable, and responsive. So the WooCommerce works well with many uh, themes that are designed specifically for the e-commerce. So some popular themes include Storefront, Astra, Ocean, uh, WP. So install and activate the theme directly into your store. So here what you can do is to add your own logo. Choose your color palette. Choose different fonts. Choose your header, how it's going to be changing your actual header. You can design your own home page and you can choose your own footer. And now that you have just set up your store, it is time to add in products in the dropshipping. So for a dropshipping store, it's important to choose an actual theme, but first it's more important to choose an actual dropshipping supplier. So signing up with a dropshipping supplier will, will store and ship products for you. Some popular choices are AliExpress, Salehoo, Adoba, so make sure they're integrated with WooCommerce. Uh, here, what I want to be doing here is to choose CJ Dropshipping. Now CJ Dropshipping is actually a supplier from AliExpress, can be helping you to add any kind of products directly into your store. So for that, what you want to do, once again, let's go back into WordPress, directly into your dashboard. Now into your dashboard of WordPress, what you want to do is to locate, once again, once more, the plugin section. Inside the plugin section, let's go for add new plugin and install, or just type the word drop shipping. And it's going to be showing you lots of plugins to install. What we're actually looking for is the actual section that says CJ drop shipping. In this case, it would be actually this one. So now that we are actually to activate, we go directly into CJ Drop Shipping. This one should be sending us directly inside the CJ Drop Shipping. Now let's add a product directly into our store. So I just need to just go directly into the left pod, type into the logo of the CJ Drop Shipping, and start looking for products that I would like to add directly into my store. So let's say, for example, I just type the word or the, or the category that I wanted to uh, get started here. Let's say, for example, this kind of element. And as you can see, we have more than thousand of products to add directly into your store. So uh, now what I wanted to do is to choose the element that says add to my products. Now, if I choose add to my products, this one should be added into an actual wish list, an actual section where you can just get started by choosing which one would you like to add directly into your store. And I'm gonna hit now into the left hot that says my products. Inside my products, I wanted to choose the products I wanted to add directly into my store. So as you can see, we have lots of products we wanted to add. So I'm going to choose one, two, three, and just four. These four products should be directly into manual listing. And as you can see, we have the, all the platforms, and we're going to make sure that we have the WooCommerce element already been added here. If you don't see the store directly here, we need to make sure that the authorization has not been successfully added. Inside the shipping price, I chose to go for the recommended listing price and go for confirm. Now my product is going to be added directly into my store. If you don't see your store listed into the CJ dropshipping store, you need to find out the element to the lip hall that says authorization. Into authorization, go for WooCommerce. It's going to be asking you just to sign in and to click into sign in or into authorize. It's actually really, really simple. 
And once you make sure that this one appears as listing succeeded, what you want to do is now to make sure that we have the shipping and rules. So since your supplier handles shipping, you'll need to configure the shipping settings according to what supplier offers. So in the WooCommerce, you can go directly into the pod. Click here into settings, you might be seeing that we have a lot of setting ups inside shipping. As you should see, we have shipping zones. What we can do is to get started by adding an actual zone. For example, here have the rest of the world, zone name, zone region, the shipping method. And lastly, let's get into products. So we can see that our product has now been added directly into our store. And as you can see, we have all the products added from the CJ Group shipping directly into our store. If I hit into view, it's going to be telling me, sending me directly into the product page of my store. So we can later on change the title. I can later on change the image, the description, the color, power, and so much more elements. But so far, actually, we have something really easy to show. And even as you can see, we have an actual review, so we can all get started totally for free. So guys, the last thing you need to do is just to set up your actual payment getaways. If I go back into the WooCommerce and I go for WooCommerce Home section, it's going to be telling us in following the prompts in order to have an actual active and great dropshipping store. Which in this case, what I need to do is just to enable the element that says get paid, collecting tile taxes, and growing our business by following the prompts and enable the suggestions that WooCommerce and WordPress has to offer to us. And well guys, with that being said, we have now reached the very end of the video. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools and how we can get started here inside the WooCommerce dropshipping store. Hopefully this was a very useful information for you. Thank you so much once again. See you next time.